Welcome to another episode of Virtual Habitat Chats. This week, we'll be taking a closer look at the mountain chicken frog habitat in the National Amphibian Conservation Center here at the Detroit Zoo. When I say mountain chicken, you may envision a chicken on a farm crowing in the early morning. However, the mountain chicken is in fact a frog. Mountain chicken frogs are among the largest frog species with adults growing up to eight inches long and weighing up to two pounds, which is about the same length of a sheet of paper and the weight of a pineapple. These large frogs have various types of camouflage that include chestnut brown spots or stripes and dark yellow bellies. A black line often runs from their snout to the angle of their mouth. Their calls also sound like a loud whoop, which can be heard throughout the day and night. Let's take a listen. To see these frogs up close, you'll have to travel to the Caribbean Sea. These heavy hoppers were once found in the Lesser Antillean Islands in the Eastern Caribbean. However, due to habitat loss, human consumption, and a fungal disease that is killing amphibian populations worldwide, the mountain chicken frog population has declined by 80% in the last 10 years. This species is currently listed as critically endangered on the IUCN red list of threatened species and can now only be found on the Dominica and Montserrat Islands with only approximately 100 individuals in the wild. Let's take a quick observation break. If you could rename the mountain chicken frog, what would you name it? Put your comments down below. Mountain chicken frogs live in remote areas with dense vegetation, ravines, and flooded forests. They prefer moist habitats and can be commonly found near streams and springs. However, their habitats is dwindling in size due to natural disasters, including volcanic eruptions that have covered the frog's habitat in ash, as well as agricultural and tourist developments and human settlement. As human encroachment increased, the mountain chicken frog's contact with pollutants and predation from feral cats, dogs, and pigs also rose. Another reason for the decline of the mountain chicken frog is the fungal disease Chytromyocosis. This disease affects frogs and other amphibians' outer layer of skin, and it becomes harder for them to breathe, hydrate, and regulate their body function and temperature. Chytric fungus works by forming a barrier on the skin and compromising its ability to function. Let's take another observation break. Based on what you know about the mountain chicken frog's habitat, how do you think their colors and patterns help them survive in the wild? Put your comments down below. In the National Amphibian Conservation Center at the Detroit Zoo, a leader in amphibian conservation and research, you can find three female mountain chicken frogs as part of the resident population. The Detroit Zoo is one of the only five U.S. zoos that provides a home to the mountain chicken frog. Like their habitat in the wild, their home here is full of dense foliage for hiding and is temperature regulated to be warm and humid to the mountain chicken frog's liking. Animal care staff extensively researched the mountain chicken frog's native habitat to be able to replicate it and meet their individual and collective needs, while also providing a stimulating and engaging habitat here at the Detroit Zoo. The Detroit Zoological Society participates in the breeding efforts of the mountain chicken frog to help reestablish their population in the wild. These frogs can be seen in the award-winning National Amphibian Conservation Center, which also houses a spectacular diversity of frogs, toads, salamanders, newts, and Sicilians. Although the mountain chicken frog isn't found in the United States, local frogs could use your help. In Michigan, there are 13 species of frogs. We invite you all to join us in celebrating and saving wildlife by eliminating the use of insecticides and fertilizers in your yard stopping these chemicals from entering our waterways and keeping these waterways free of trash. You can help protect exotic and local frog species by also making responsible pet choices and not releasing captive animals into the wild. The exotic pet trade also contributes to the declining populations of frogs in the wild by spreading diseases and placing a strain on food resources if released. To also support frog conservation, you can join your local chapter of Frog Watch USA.
Frog Watch USA is an amphibian conservation and community science program managed by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Community science programs teach volunteers to collect data using the same protocol and methods scientists use to be counted as part of a scientific research project. Thank you.